I'm still trying to make sense of how quickly all of this has happened, but it's here. It's happening. They've got hockey in Salt Lake City, and it's so cool that the players are finally meeting the fans. They'll be cheering them on in just a few short months. I will buy those sweatshirts immediately. They're we, sweet, we, right? They should make those the first sweatshirts available as you watch the Here's the new barn. Delta Center. Getting switched over here, but yeah, that's exciting stuff, you know, and it's cool seeing the fans congregating there, seeing the players. It, it's, it's a weird, I don't know, I never experienced it, but it's got to be a weird vibe and time, but it's exciting. It's weird, it's yeah. foreign, but it's also kind of cool. It's yeah. actually really cool. Well, well things have been so bad it. for so long. I mean, having made the playoffs in a regular season for a long time, and, and so yeah, it's kind of like a fresh start, do You know what's a crazy thing to think about, though, is imagine because because this happened so fast. Yeah. These, these guys in Arizona, you know, they got families, they got wives. So I'm sure some guys own houses there. And, oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, it's just like, bang. By the way, we're going to Utah, sell your house. <laughs> Pack your stuff and go find a place to live in Utah. And it just like sometimes you sign a contract, you get traded, you got a little more time to like think about it. All of a sudden, you know, these guys' lives are flipped upside down, and they, yeah. they they're now going. They're, they were living in Scottsdale probably, and now they're yep. going to Utah. So it's kind of crazy for these guys, but um, you know, an exciting start. And obviously, you see that how excited the fans are there. I think it'd be a fresh start for a team that's that's trying to turn the corner. And the fans that are there right there to meet them the first time the first opportunity you can always say I was there on day I one legitimately so cool. day one like you know you're still gonna have day one supporters for the first game and first practice yeah. all those things but like that is the first interaction it's, I welcome the team, team. and I, I love that stuff thing. another thing too just to kind of throw in there kind of a little bit off topic but you know Bill Armstrong the GM of the team it's been tough for them to how do you sign current contracts and get free agents to come in when there's so much uncertainty yeah they have a very bright future mm -hmm. lots of prospects lots of picks they're developing like they, they're the future is bright for this organization but now they can actually operate yeah you know they can start trying to see and get their footprint in the in the utah air, area and just be like all right well now we know we can at least say and we can answer questions that maybe yes. free agents have yeah right and we can start and it's a beautiful area so i'm excited for what this could be and that's really is the the ground floor day one just getting off the plane and meeting the fans yeah with the, the certainty now with utah they can almost come up with a package of to offer not offer but show free agents potential free agents coming in like hey this is utah you know it's a beautiful place it's in the mountains we got the rink here this is you're not playing the, the, in front of five thousand yeah and people. they have all they have all this certainty now like you know here's where you can live this is what you can do we got park city you're like all this stuff that you can say hey this is a, this is going to be an awesome place to play yeah you should come here yeah, very easy to sell, I think. I mean, I've actually never been to Salt Lake City, but I, I want to go. Yeah. yeah, I've only heard great things. It looks beautiful. Um, they are still in search of a name, but they've put out names for potential trademarks, right? Uh, as part of the process. And these are the ones that have been filed for uh, trademarks. The Mammoth, the Ice, Yetis, Venom, Fury, Blizzard, Outlaws, and just Utah Hockey Club or Utah HC. What's your favorite? Uh, the last one is the incredible <laughs> Just for me. Utah Hockey that Club? Utah awesome. HC, that sounds so incredibly really? strong and like sophisticated. Like, yeah, it's like a, it it's almost. It's like soccer or something. It is. Like it FC. feels like the it Washington like, football team. And I think yeah. they should only allow imports on the team. Just all, you know. <laughs> but it just sounds different, right? Yeah. It sounds yeah. like very. Sound, it sounds strong. We don't have that type of name in hockey. I, I yeah. really think when I saw that, I was like, oh, I really like that. I wouldn't think I. I, I would until I saw it, and I really do. I kind of, I, I like it, too. I don't know if they'll let it fly just because it, it would, I mean. Just a nice shield. There's no other team like that in, in the NHL, but right. I, think it, I think you're right. Oh, you could, it could, you could come awesome. up with a great logo. It does sound good. Um, I mean, you I, just I, said you'd buy one of those they, sweatshirts, right? That yeah. just said Utah. Yeah. yeah. Established 24. You, you can just have, like, a shield on there. Like, the soccer teams, they all got their, yeah. their like, shield emblem yeah. Just, yeah i mean you can make a pretty cool logo Hockey out club. of that yeah it's always weird looking at the names though right because you're trying to think of like oh what name do i like but they all sound so foreign yeah like yeah. the yetis is kind of cool but is it like i i don't know they're all they all just sound so foreign when you're when you're naming a new team but yeah yeah i'm with you i like i like hc if they let it's them go it's hard i mean the pwhl they, they has they just done it, so. cities right this yep. first year and that's gone over decently well so yeah it'll be interesting to see i if i had to vote i think i like the mammoth probably the best but there's also 
sorry in advance to my producer who already x named this but there's, <laughs> there's, been, there's something out there apparently there's a certain kind of fish that's called the chub in the utah so there's there's the utah chub or the utah chub suckers go look at it because it's really <laughs> funny they have a look don't. <laughs> all right i'm don't. gonna take us a break now. i don't know if <laughs> that is gonna fly yeah i think i, it's mean, a I great think uhc name. i think uhc is probably <laughs> Utah Hockey Club. Indigenous fish. The Utah Club. You heard it here first.